Hello everyone, NVIDIA Omniverse recently introduced major updates with Isaac Sim 4.5 and Isaac Lab 2.0. Before diving into the key changes and installation walkthrough, I want to first take a moment to explain what these tools are and highlight their differences. Here are timestamps for those who want to jump to a specific section. So first of all, what is NVIDIA Omniverse? Omniverse is a powerful collaboration and simulation platform that brings together diverse 3D workflows into a shared virtual space. By downloading the Omniverse launcher, you gain access to a variety of specialized applications, ranging from robotics and autonomous driving to highly realistic 3D content creation and much more. At its core, Omniverse operates on Pixar's OpenUSD, or simply USD, an open source framework designed for creating, simulating and collaborating in 3D worlds. Through Omniverse Nucleus, you also get access to a vast collection of pre-built assets, robots and environments. Covering Omniverse in detail would require a full video on its own, so I'll link some resources below if you want to explore it further. Since this channel focuses on Isaac Sim and Isaac Lab, let's take a closer look at those. So, Isaac Sim is a robotic simulation platform built on the Omniverse framework, designed to create physically accurate and photorealistic virtual environments. It allows for robotics development and testing, synthetic data generation, industrial digital twins, and much more. Developers can access Isaac Sim through the Omniverse launcher, the cloud, or install it via PIP, which I'll walk you through later in the video. And now, what is Isaac Lab, and how does it fit into the Omniverse framework? A question I get asked a lot. Isaac Lab is an open source, unified robot learning framework built on top of Isaac Sim, designed specifically for robot learning and AI research. It streamlines workflows for reinforcement learning, imitation learning, and motion planning making it a powerful tool for AI-driven robotics. While Isaac Sim provides a general purpose simulation environment for robotics, Isaac Lab specifically targets the needs of robot learning. It must be manually installed and cannot be accessed directly through the Omniverse launcher. So every time we execute a script, it will open an instance of Isaac Sim in the background. Okay, now that we understand what these are, let's go over the key updates, starting with Isaac Sim 4.5. First, the Omniverse launcher I mentioned earlier will be deprecated in October this year, meaning applications will need to be manually downloaded. Next, we now get access to NVIDIA Cosmos, a platform featuring state-of-the-art generative world foundation models, which was recently announced by Jensen Huang at CES. There are also major improvements in importers, faster simulation and performance, an expanded robot library, enhanced sensor capabilities, and much more. I'll showcase some of these changes on screen, so feel free to pause if you'd like a closer look. I'll also link additional resources for those who want to explore further. Now, let's talk about the updates in Isaac Lab 2.0. It introduces Groot Mimic for imitation learning, enabling synthetic trajectory generation from human demonstrations. Tiled rendering performance has improved by up to 1.2x with support for multiple cameras. Installation is now easier with a Python package and a new container for seamless deployment. Plus, startup time is 30% faster thanks to cloner class optimizations. One significant change, which also affects my older videos, is the renaming and restructuring of files, requiring workflow updates for compatibility. However, in most cases, this mainly means adjusting path names. With that in mind, my upcoming tutorial videos will focus on Isaac Lab 2.0 and my older videos will need slight adjustments to reflect the updated path names. Now let's move on to the installation. We will install the new versions of Isaac Sim 4.5 and Isaac Lab 2.0 locally. One way, which I don't recommend if you want to use Isaac Lab, is by downloading Isaac Sim as a zip, unzipping it and executing the Isaac Sim bat on Windows or Isaac Sim shell on Linux as shown here. With this method, you can launch the full version of Isaac Sim or the selector, for example to connect to ROS. Once opened, you can update the cache in the top right corner, restart, and use the Nucleus server, which contains many free assets. However, as mentioned before, this method will not work for Isaac Lab, since it does not install Isaac Sim with the required dependencies. There are also other ways to install Isaac Sim, such as using Docker or accessing it from the cloud. I won't cover these methods in this tutorial, but I recommend contacting Horinan, also known as Papachuk a knowledgeable community member who offers his help in these regards. So instead, we will follow the official installation documentation and use the recommended method. Since I am using Windows, 
I will install Isaac Sim 4.5 and Isaac Lab 2.0 using the PIP installation. Linux users should follow the recommended installation steps for their system. If you're on Ubuntu, make sure you have GLIBC 2.34 or later installed before proceeding. It is recommended to use Miniconda, which is a lightweight package and environment manager that includes Python. The installation guide for Miniconda will be linked in the description. We will create a new Conda environment with Python 3.10, which automatically includes the package manager. If you're using a virtual environment, you will need to install Python manually and add it to your system path. Also from now on, ensure you select the correct toggle for your operating system to get the correct installation commands. After creating the Conda environment, which I am naming Isaac Lab 2, do not forget to activate it by running Conda Activate. From this point forward, always keep this environment activated, not only for the installation process, but also when running Isaac Sim and Isaac Lab. If you are using Windows, note that for CUDA 12, NVIDIA recommends driver version 552.86. However, many GPUs, including mine, do not support this driver version. Instead, I am using the latest stable driver, 537.58, which is not compatible with CUDA 12 or later. Because of this, I downgraded to CUDA 11.8, which is also recommended and fully compatible with PyTorch 2.5.1. A video tutorial will be linked in the description, covering how to change NVIDIA drivers, install the correct CUDA, QDNN and PyTorch versions, and use NVIDIA's support matrix to verify compatibility. Although I have successfully run Isaac Lab with the latest GPU driver and CUDA version, I decided to downgrade to avoid potential issues particularly when working with reinforcement learning. Now we will install PyTorch using the following command. Then we upgrade pip and finally we install Isaac Sim 4.5. Now we will verify the installation by launching Isaac Sim. It took approximately three minutes to load for the first time. It is also possible to run an experience file, which automatically sets up extensions and configurations. Now, moving on to the Isaac Lab installation. First, we need to clone the repository from GitHub. While it is recommended to fork the repository, I will simply show how to clone it, as I have already forked it previously. Ubuntu users should install the required dependencies before proceeding with the installation. To install Isaac Lab, we first navigate into the cloned Isaac Lab repository. The installation process requires executing a batch file .bat on Windows or a shell script .sh on Linux. It is possible to install only specific frameworks, but in this case I will install all available components. Now we can launch scripts, for example, running create empty creates an empty scene. On my system, it took approximately 3 minutes to start for the first time. One important note is that the reinforcement learning scripts using RSLRL did not work as expected due to path issues. Running the following command resulted in errors. I believe this issue is related to recent changes in the repository, as I did not encounter any problems with the installation or when using other reinforcement learning libraries, such as RL Games. I have opened an issue on GitHub regarding this, and I will provide updates and solutions in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like the video and subscribe to stay updated on the latest developments and tutorials in Isaac Sim and Isaac Lab. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.